Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I apologize, I haven't shot a bunch of videos lately. I've been slam busy. It's been ridiculous this year. Lots of other things going on. Uh, but I wanted to do a demo real quick of a brand new product that I've been working on for years actually. It's a hybrid product of two different technologies that actually we finally got to work amazingly. It really works well and I wanted to show you guys what's going on. Uh, I, in my group on Facebook, uh, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, I have given them an opp opportunity to pre buy this stuff as a pre-release deal. Uh, the official release for the Ceramacrylic Pro Hybrid Coating uh, will be, I'm, I'm thinking July 1st at this time when I'll have labels and it'll be ready to ship. Uh, it is something that I'm going to be marketing directly to professional detailers who make money doing uh, the actual coding applications. This will not be a product for the general population. Uh, if you're interested in it, please contact me directly. Um, I don't like giving longevity, longevity or, or hardness ratings or any of that stuff because every environment has different variables that affect durability. I mean, the biggest effect on durability is how you prep the surface and how the product, any product, is applied. Um, but beyond that, how it's maintained, what the environmental factors are, there's no way to really tell you how long something's going to last without you actually testing it out for yourself. The bottom line is I'm getting awesome results with this particular coating. Um, Force Field Pro 5 Plus is still my pro coating. Uh, the longevity, it will last longer, but this uh, Ceramacrylic Pro Hybrid, hybrid cr coating will actually protect better but for a shorter length of time, uh, I, and, I, and I'm just guessing at that. We're three plus years on uh, seven test uh, vehicles that I've been testing and, and you know tweaking things and, and figuring things out on, but from the, the beginning of this testing for this particular coating, um, the actual product has evolved quite considerably. So the materials that we're using, the raw materials, are actually far better than they were at the beginning. So what I'm saying is I'm producing a better product than I was when I started this testing with these seven vehicles. So the actual production version will actually be better than the results I'm getting from all of my test vehicles. So uh, we're at three plus years on them, going strong. Uh, the biggest benefit with this particular product is it's extremely hydrophobic. It stays that way for a long time. You'll see the paint beat up, uh, the water will run off, and you'll notice the increased surface tension so that contaminants can't bond, which is what you want. If you don't have contaminants bonding, you only have to worry about sun. And you get UVA and UVB inhibitors built into this product, just like all the other products that I sell, but this one in particular protects best in my opinion, but for a lesser time than Horsefield Pro 5 Plus. Um, as far as hardness goes, I mean, that's subjective. Uh, you know how I feel if you've watched any of my other videos and been with me for any amount of time. Uh, there's a lot of marketing bullshit out there, and I'm not a fan. So I'm not going to try to blow some smoke up your ass. I'm just going to show you an amazing product that works. And here's the deal. I own the product line. I have my name on every bottle. So I am biased. I'm going to tell you that it's amazing because I feel like it is, but that is just one man's opinion. You'll never know how well you like it or dislike it for that reason unless you've tried it for yourself. But I guarantee you this is going to be one you're going to want to have. If, you don't, if you're not buying it to apply it, then you're going to want to have it as a consumer installed on your ride, I promise you. As soon as this stuff hits the general population, you're really going to start seeing people promoting it and really being happy with the way that it works. Um, there is a second product, uh, Ceramacrylic Boost. Uh, it is actually its own product. I'm going to shoot a separate video for that, but this video is for Ceramacrylic Pro Hybrid Coating. Now, I'm going to sell it in two different increments, one ounce and two ounce. Um, the one ounce version will do it just depends. Uh, it should take about a quarter of an ounce per car. Uh, this is a half of an ounce, which is how I did my samples that went out. Um, the half of an ounce is going to give you two solid applications. This applies thin, and if you apply it thin, it will cure in, it just really depends. You need an hour for the initial set time, and then you need about six hours for the full-blown cure time. No crazy lights, no 
special type of environment or anything. Literally after an hour it can see the elements. I wouldn't go rubbing on it or anything until it fully cures in about six hours. So that's a little bit about that. Um, we're using the same setup technology as we use in several of my other products because it works so well. Um, we're not using a harsh solvent or anything crazy like most of the companies out there are using. Uh, we're using a VOC free solvent, which is awesome. Um, this particular uh, solution applies like my Vitality Shield, the liquid paint sealant, and the Grip Launch Line, and the heavy duty Car Show Dream Cream. The whole setup, the way that it's applied, that way works best. You get the, the, the best of every possible scenario uh, with these type, this type of system. So with that said, um, what I recommend first to, before you go apply in this, I'm gonna show you how to prep the surface. This is a 2011 Yamaha Striker motorcycle. Uh, it literally has nothing on it but I think I used some Magna Motorcycle juice on it. You can see if you get close up that it's all dusty and dirty. Um, it's been sitting in here for a while. But this is, I have Ghost Francis Wash right here. It's actually pre-diluted. I cut it 50-50 and put it in this spray bottle. And this is what I'm gonna use as a, for, for just time's sake, we're gonna do a, a waterless wash, which I am not a huge fan of. However, it is a highly effective way to get the surface clean. You may end up scratching it a little bit, but I'm not real worried about this particular motorcycle. Um, if you prefer to ensure you're not scratching it, I would recommend either a traditional wash or a rinseless wash with the Gary Dean wash method. If you're unfamiliar with the Gary Dean wash method, you definitely can Google, search, or go to YouTube and put in the Gary Dean wash method. Remember, I have two R's in my first name. Uh, I don't think it'll matter for uh, search purposes anyway. But so I've, I've cleaned the surface. The next situation you want to do is, I want to use my Japanese 100 gram uh, fine grade clay bar, which you can see I import them from Japan uh, because it's the best I've found. They're amazing. They actually remove contamination like a really aggressive clay bar, but they don't mar the paint uh, like an ultra fine wood. So it's actually an ultra fine clay bar that works really, really well. Um, I'm gonna take a piece of clay that I've already used. Um, so we've got a clean and dried surface. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and mist the ghost on the surface. Uh, I'm gonna use ghost for the lubricant. The benefit of the ghost rinseless wash uh, is that it's not gonna leave anything behind. No residue, no nothing. Straight up clean and you're done. So you're not fighting polymers or whatever uh, when you're trying to apply a protective product. So give it a good play. Shouldn't be heavily contaminated. I'm not feeling a lot and you can see it's not heavily contaminated. However, you always wanna play just to make sure uh, there's no contamination before you protect anything. All right, so wash, clay bar, dry. We're good to go. Now the next step in proper prep is gonna be to use stripper, stripper spray right here. What we're gonna do is we are, and this is uh, number two, if you'll notice, number two in the force field protection system lineup. So spray the surface. Take a clean towel and just wipe it in. This is gonna remove any and all uh, wax or sealant from the surface of the, of the paint. Now, if you've got a coating on your vehicle already, you're gonna to wanna to polish the coating off and then start all my steps from the beginning. But for this particular situation, stripper juice is gonna remove anything that's on there. And when you apply it, you can feel in the microfiber, it feels really grabby. That's how you know that the surface is free of any other wax and sealant. Now, as far as the 
And we're, and we're actually prepped and ready for the coating now. Um, if you want to polish in between, you can. So you would do uh, wash, clay bar, and then go into polishing. If you finish with the infinite finish, you do not have to use any of the stripper products to remove anything because it actually is cleaning and leaving behind the primer uh, that all of my uh, stripper products will leave behind for you to get the absolute best bond of any of my protective products. So this is the uh, Ceram Acrylic Pro Hybrid Coating. Uh, you can apply this one of two ways. The first way is you can absolutely apply it by hand, but the most important thing I can say about this application is it has to be inside out of direct sunlight on a cool, dry surface. If you don't do this, if you do it outside, it is not gonna work right and you are going to have a hell of a time removing a concrete-like situation from your paint. So, do it out of direct sunlight on a cool, dry surface. Remember that. Don't be calling me up saying, hey, I applied it outside and I got a problem. I mean, I will help you, but the problem is I'm telling you the answer right now. Um, so, you want to put very little on an applicator pad and then basically prime the surface of the pad by balling it up. Uh, I'm only going to use this one little section, so I'm not going to get it all over. So you can apply it just like this. You want to apply it as thin as possible, but cover everything, even coverage. Keep it off of black plastic trim. It will discolor it because of the way that the chemical structure is. Um, so once you've applied it to the entire car, you can use it on the glass, the paint, the chrome, the wheels, all of that. Uh, I would say only glossy finishes though. Don't deal with uh, the matte finishes because I have force field matte for that, which is a totally different animal. But once you've applied it, let it sit for one hour before you go back around and try to buff it off by hand. Um, after that one hour, after you've buffed it off of everything, you then need it to cure for six hours. Like I mentioned before, after you've buffed it off by hand, you can take it through the elements, give it back to your customer, any of that is fine. Um, I just wouldn't go rubbing on it or washing it for about six hours after it's been applied. So. That's a very simple hand application of the Ceramic Acrylic Pro Hybrid Coating. Um, in an hour, you would wipe that off. Now, for this video's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off because I'm gonna show you, and you'll notice it wipes right off. It wipes off easily when it naturally cures by itself. There's no issues getting it off. If you apply it too heavy, which is where the machine application comes into play. Machine application is going to apply it more even and thinner, which is what you want. The acrylic in there needs thin to cure properly. Uh, the ceramic situation is there for more added durability um, and doesn't necessarily affect the uh, application process as much as the acrylic does. There's actually more acrylic than ceramic in there. Um, so, with all of that said, I'm gonna set that foam pad to the side, and you guys all know I'm a big fan of the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher. Uh, this is a red buff and shine applicator pad, which I do sell on detailjuice.com. And how I recommend you apply it with this is the same way you do with a regular hand foam applicator. You're gonna put a little bit more on the pad initially, to prime it, okay? And if you'll notice, I've already used this pad for this earlier today. I just um, cleaned it out real good. But uh, so here's where we're at. Spread it on a little bit. You want it on speed three to four. I usually put it on about three and a half. Turn it on. No pressure. We're just literally applying it evenly. And that's all that matters. Okay, no need to go over and over and over it. You're just gonna be uh, drying the product up. But uh, the biggest benefit to machine application, other than uh, you use less product, 
uh, and it's going to spread thinner uh, is the mechanical ability and the little bit of heat that it generates is actually helping the curing process. So uh, you would leave that on for an hour and then you'll buff it right off. So we'll be back with you in an hour so you can see how easy this stuff is to buff off. Hey guys, it's hot out here. Hot and humid. Hot and humid. Human. Hot and humid. I'm something, that's for damn sure. Anyway, so it's been an hour now and you can see that the uh, product is all hazed up. Clean microfiber towel. If you want to get in here, please, camera person, you'll notice it's uh, it's all hazed, hazed over. So I'm going to take a clean, dry microfiber towel. You can find these towels at detailjuice.com as well. And you literally just wipe off the haze. It's that easy. The slickness, the gloss, I mean, it's soft, it's slick, it feels amazing. Now it needs about six hours to fully cure, and that is that. This product is by far my favorite protective product when it comes to longevity, durability, gloss, and slickness all in one. Um, I can't say enough about it, but again, I would say whatever I had to say, I guess, uh, my name is on the bottle. So, well, not on these because I don't have the labels yet, but that has been the Ceramacrylic Pro Hybrid Coating. Um, if you got if you got questions for me on the application, on the coating itself, uh, if you can be an installer or any of that, uh, you can contact me at 813-846-4406. I'd be more than happy to help you in your detailing endeavors. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And don't forget about the promotion that I'm doing from now until forever. I will give you credit when you post pictures on social media of my full-blown retail package products, so the label and everything. Give you $1 for every picture you post on your social media. Tag me in it at gary.dean.35 on Instagram or Gary Dean on Facebook, uh, and I'll give you $5 store credit for every video you post using, demoing, or explaining about my products. Um, if you've got questions about that, let me know. You can only use that when you've generated enough credit to purchase something, and it goes for retail priced products through the site. So, if you got questions for me, give me a call. Thank you guys so much for watching. That has been the Ceramacrylic Pro Hybrid Coating. Have a great day, guys.